Greetings fans, hyper fans, and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. I've just received a parcel with some very familiar um, yellow tape all around it. Um, but I'm not 100% sure what I've got in here. So... Well, it's very well wrapped. I'm not in the standard thing I expect from Sir Toys. Uh, that's because it's not from Sir Toys. This is direct from the manufacturers. Um, this is from Jin Bao. Um, you will recognize him straight away. What we have here is the upgrade kit for the oversized KO Treader King figure. In, fingers crossed, yes, the original colours. Um, actually, if I put it on top of there, it might make it that way up. Oh. One teeny tiny screw dropped out of there. Um, so when I did the big review of all six Tredicons, um, There were a few things that I wasn't particularly happy with. Um, one of them being that the combined Shredder King head was a little on the large side. Um, here we have a smaller one. That the Razor Claw, yeah, the Razor Claw um, mask main thing. Um, had lost the fold out section that the original had um, and that's what this one has that the fists weren't articulated um, and here we have the ball jointed thumb going for an additional knuckle there and full individual figure fingers there and that the wrists on the individual robots weren't articulated um and here we have articulated fists so basically everything that i complained about this kit fixes I know this adds another £20 on top of your purchase price, but quite honestly, to fix those final few problems, that's not very much at all. Um, let me have a quick look at the instructions. Um, it all seems pretty self-evident. Um, let me go and grab my Predator King and we will do the upgrade. <laughs> So back onto a white background, before I actually start to dissect this guy and put the upgrade on, I just want to do some size comparisons here. So this is the replacement head next to the original. Um, it's probably about sort of maybe 10, 15% smaller. Um, and, and to be honest, I'm not 100% sure that I prefer this one. Um, I will do the swap over and show what he looks like with all the upgrades, but I'm not necessarily going to keep him that way. Now, if we just pull out the second chest shield, um, you can see that that's practically the same size. Um, the yellow's identical to the way it was before, but obviously this has... the hinges in the main so this is a single molded piece 
um, with the gold on it. This has, let me just show that off, four stepped pins, just holding those in. If I just separate this out and work out the hand, So again, absolutely the same size. That's pretty much the same base piece as before. Um, only difference being that there is a plug in the offside of the thumb. Instead of having ooh, let me, this single very hollow piece with molded in plastic nubs. There is a solid metal bar going through four individual fingers that also have a mid joint on them. But other than that, this piece is absolutely identical. This piece is absolutely identical. Um, the plastic and the paint is absolutely identical. So if I continue to take that apart, I will transform him back into robot mode. And there we have Rampage looking Pretty much as he does in the new Transformers Earth Wars game, actually. But then again, that's because these are all based on the artwork of Guido Guide. Um, we have here the replacement hands. You get five sets of these little ones, one set of the larger ones for Razor Claw. And if you remember from the original ones, I actually had a thumb snap off halfway through the review um, and he's literally just <sighs> pop out because this is it's not like the super soft plastic but it is soft enough to just give a little bit and it's literally that easy to get their hand in. Um, what I'm already noticing, um, let's see if I can focus on that a little bit, is that the new hands are actually a lot more open, a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, but hopefully that means that they'll be able to grab their weapons without um, losing a thumb. Um, actually, if I just give that a squeeze, it's uh, a slightly more forgiving plastic. So that's something I'm very happy about. An installation is an absolute doddle. And that gives him just one more point of articulation. Um, you still got to make sure that you line them up properly for putting them back in um, yeah does not like going in there sideways but that's no big problem right let's get razor claw out so leaving razor claw pretty much in torso mode we are going to be affixing this piece, the new head, the new chest armature, and the new hands. So first of all, we're just gonna lift up the current chest and Give that 
a squeeze and this whole unit comes out. Now, this unit is in orange rather than red. Um, and if I just pop out... The one thing that they don't give you is this top piece again. Um, so you do have to unscrew it there. And if you lose the screws, they do send two more in the box. Although I have to say that mine weren't in any kind of bag. And that just goes straight in to exactly the same point. And I'm just going to screw this together off camera. Okay, so I've now got this neck piece moved over. Um, the included screw went in a lot easier than the screw from the original. I did go for one of each just for comparison. Um, the included screw is a little bit smaller, um, but obviously this isn't going to be being at all visible. Um, it's a lot tighter in the joint this time, which is a good thing, because that looseness was something I did have an issue with. So if I just compare that to the inside there... Um, I like the fact that it's actually got the paint on the back so you can get him into a few more poses and it be visible. Um, this red piece is replaced with this orange piece. Actually, let me just hold those side by side. From what I can tell, they're practically identical. Um, this is a little bit more flexible and the bolts sticking out the side are a little bit shorter. That should make it just a tad easier to install. Yep. That was literally a case of just putting them over there and working it backwards and forwards until they popped into place. The ball joint, again, just line up and you'll have a lot easier time doing this, not at arm's length, trying to get it all on camera. There. And that's it. That's the entire thing. Um, in upside down but again because you have those shorter pegs it's so much easier to just sort of squeeze pop it out and flip it over and then this will just rotate round and there we have it the head I can work it away from that back plate. You're just going to go into the back and undo that one screw. Which I have to say is pretty tight on this one. Again, I'll have to do this one off camera. There we go. And the two halves will just pop apart. Open up the smaller head in exact, actually, does that actually have a screw in it yet? Actually, no, there was no screw, it was just very tightly pushed together um 
One difference in construction is here, the black visor is um, just painted in. Here it is a separate piece. Um, so if you wanted to have a muck around with electronics, you could possibly get an LED in there. But that goes on to exactly the same ball joint. Back of the head in. And if I just drop that screw down. We now have something that fits there an awful lot easier. Um, let's just have a quick look at Razor Claw's hands. Um, they do pop out just as easily. I say just as easily, I mean in exactly the same way, but it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, not going to do this on camera. That practically flew out once I got it past the pegs. Um, yeah, the pegs are ever so... Again, ever so, ever so slightly shorter on the replacement hands, so they do push in, hopefully a little bit easier. Unfortunately, unlike the original release, these are all held together with pins rather than screws. So um, getting them to loosen up for the replacements is none too easy. If you can get somebody else to give you a hand just prizing those apart while you push those in, you may have an easier job of it. So once you've got it kind of seated, you just wiggle it backwards and forwards until it finds its own place. Um, the plastic is a lot softer than the original, which does feel kind of brittle. But note that goes in absolutely fine. Now, it really does look like I'm having a little bit of trouble getting these in, but to be honest, I'm kind of doing it with brute force, and if this was the... 300 pound original I would be scared witless doing this anyway hand replacement on the rest is going to be practically identical so I'm going to go through change all the fists and put him back together the Pentagon's not only transformed into robots but into one gigantic robot so there we have Treader King with his upgrades um the articulated hands are very cool and it should have really shipped with those to begin with. Having a bit of variation on the chest is very cool, um, especially if you're going to be posing them as their individual bots. The head is a little on the tiny side. Um, I will probably be going back to having his big original head, but now that I have the option in case I mess this one up I may actually go in drill out that visor and try and put some green LEDs in there this kit is not super expensive I think Sir Toys are doing it at the moment for about $20 and if you're going to be displaying these as individual robots it's probably worth picking up if you're just going to keep him on your shelf looming over the rest of your collection as Predator King yeah, not so much. There are other problems that I would have liked to address by the upgrade kit, um, namely the size of the Bovis and Forces heads, but the plastic on the individual bot's hands feels a lot safer to stick weapons into, and he's going to be able to grip his massive sword a lot easier with those articulated fingers. I guess even having it in hand, I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I would recommend getting it. You've seen how to install it, it's a doddle to get on. I will stick a link below if you do want to pick it up. 
but that's about as honest a review of it as I can give. Um, if you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments. Subscribe to keep up to date with my next videos. And as always, if you're keeping the mint in box, you're not a toy collector, you're a box collector. Till next time. Nice!